Hitter for Xavier. 0-2 to Franzoni. Struggled last weekend against the St. John's Red Storm. And it's a cold third strike over the outer half of the plate. Franzoni's down, two outs in the inning. How about this fight from Dylan to Brock after six? He's right on that pace again here tonight. Brock about to throw his 18th pitch of the inning. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Tyler DiMartino was behind it, and Tabrock gets out of the inning. Creighton and Xavier just getting started. Tabrock fired up. There's an intervention in the sixth inning. <laughs> Chicken wing delivery up here to the booth at Prasco Park. 3-2 again to Flam. And to Brock wins the battle, gets him looking. Third strikeout already for Dylan to Brock. Yeah, Lane Flam didn't like it. I don't know if he's got Stevenson on the front foot right now. Oh, two from to Brock. Got him swinging. Four through two for the Big East pitcher of the year. He's fired up. The Blue Jays are fired up. And they'll sixth strikeout. This second time through the order, Xavier with two runs on just one hit. It's thanks to three Dylan to Brock walks. The one, two, a swing and a miss. And that is strikeout number six for Dylan to Brock. So you're three batters away here from getting it back to the top. Line down the left field line. If it stays fair, it's trouble, and it is fair. One run is in. They're going to wave the second runner around. The throw from Housinger is not in time, and we are tied. Chris Esposito with the hit that Creighton needs, and it's a brand new ball game. Well, what a time for Chris Esposito to get back to the offensive. One of them. Yeah, well, they, you know, there's no film anymore. Now it's just like a big CD, a big DVD that they put in and run it digitally. But this was back in the day when they actually used the film. 0-2, oh, a check swing, but a cold third strike. Anyway, Housinger down on strikes. That's number seven for Dylan Tabrock through the first four and two-thirds innings of this game. Yeah, Dylan Tabrock coming back. Billy really sense it. How big a spot this is in this game. You're going to see a lot of emotion out of one side or the other after this at bat. Two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Steyer sets him down, and he gets out of a bases loaded jam. And a little gesture there to the Musketeer dugout. Brush him off. Tommy Steyer sets down the Go Big East player of the year in a huge situation. Steyer fired up. And Creighton gets out of the jam. Musketeers leading 3-2. Creighton coming to bat. The base runner on this will take a look. The call was safe. And it's going to be tough to overturn. So first look. Wegner is well in there. Nice. I don't think there's going to be a very long review here at all. We had a pretty... Long review, first time up, but I, I think that's a pretty clear. Huge pitch in this game with two outs. We've seen some pretty impactful showdowns here between pitchers and hitters. The payoff grounded right back to Steyer. The flip, and the inning is over. Steyer looks at the Xavier dugout as we stretch. To the bottom of the seventh we go, 3-3. Especially Roden yesterday mentioned that he knew what he was going to see from Luke Bell. He knew that Jack Lynch was going to bring 99% fastballs. Now he gets a look at Bryce Barnett. This one hit out on a line. That is going to get over the head of Tyler DiMartino and Kareen off the wall. Rounding third is Andrew Meggs. The throw is going to be cut off. And Creighton with a stand-up triple from the co-Big East Player of the Year, Alan Roden. 
gives the home team the lead. I mentioned he was overdue and he delivers in a huge spot for the Creighton Blue Jays. Little point to the dugout for A ball and two strikes to the number six hitter in the order for Creighton. Trying to break the game open. And he lines this one into right field. One run is in for the Blue Jays. The throw coming home, and only one run will score, but the line keeps moving. It's now a two-run Creighton advantage, and the Blue Jays are feeling it. Well, Ed Service says, all right, I'll give Tommy Steyer a minimum of a two-run lead. We've got one out here in the inning. Why risk getting out number two at the plate? when he got a chance to turn over the lineup. And you got Chris Esposito here, made fantastic contact with the baseball back in the fourth and hit a double down the line. And Esposito was well under his 310 average of last. Lead. And yeah, the breaks have balanced out a bit here in the second half of the game for the Blue Jays. The 0-2. Esposito hits this one into right field. Will it be deep enough? DiMartino underneath. Wegner from third tags. He's going to come home. The throw is offline, and another run scores. Creighton, a three-run lead in the seventh. Well, Esposito did what he needed to do, put it far enough out for the sacrifice fly to get the run home. And Ed Service sees his decision to hold a runner there at third payoff. In college baseball, nobody knows their team better outside of the coaching staff <laughs> than the sports information directors. And we can't start we can't That's start okay. that in the eighth inning. We can't start that in the eighth <laughs> inning. We still got a long weekend ahead. Two two a swing and a miss from Grant Stevenson against Tommy Steyer. That's the second strikeout for the Creighton right hander. That they have not put their bullpen in motion. Yeah. It's a lot on the plate of an individual here. He's up over 70 pitches now, John. This is about to be what is his 72nd pitch of the night. And he threw three and a third last week. It was only 39 pitches, though. One, two. Swing, a foul tip. It's Jack Kausinger, the senior, the shortstop, the Iron Man, the pitch. And it's a check swing, ground ball to third. It's going to be a close play at first. The throw in time, and the game is over. The Creighton Blue Jays survive. Another nice play by Hess on the infield. We've seen several out of him today in some difficult situations. He's had to charge him. He's had to pick him up on short hops. That time, charged that softly hit ball. Able to get it over to first base and end this ball game. The Musketeers so close and Creighton shuts the door behind Tommy Steyer in a big triple from Allen Roden to get it all started as Creighton scored three in the bottom of the seventh to really change this ball game. How about the job of Tommy Steyer tonight? 73 pitches in relief, 44 of them for strikes. And he puts Creighton into the winner's bracket. The Blue Jays will play the Connecticut Huskies at 2.30 tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this with an interview after this. Thanks, Paul. Tommy, you come in in the sixth inning, and you're able to hold on. How did you like your command tonight? Yeah, I like my command a lot. I mean, my whole focus is just throwing strikes and let my defense make plays. So. My slaughter hasn't been as sharp as usual and or in the past, and today I felt like it was really sharp, so it was, it was good to have that back. And you managed to get out of some tough situations. How good does it feel to get this win tonight? It is relieving to get out of that. Um, yeah, not where I want to be as a closer in those, giving, like putting myself in those situations, so getting out of it and having my defense make plays at the end of that game was absolutely huge. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, now you talk to Alan. All right, so you came in in the seventh and you had a big stand-up triple. What did you like in that pitch that you were able to find the ball so well? Honestly, uh, I just saw it, put a good swing on it. I'm glad it worked out. I mean, thank Megs for getting around first and getting all the way around to home. Uh, just really glad I was able to come through there. 
And you had to wait all day to get to this game with the rain delay. What did you guys say as a team to keep you guys focused? Well, we always preach in our program, you know, just think about only think about the things that you can control and the weather and the decisions made about the weather. And, you know, they're completely out of our control. So um, just staying focused on what we can control is playing this game hard and with a lot of guts like Tommy right there and with a lot of energy from our dugout. I mean, that's all we focused on and it worked out. Some big takeaways, I'm sure, heading into tomorrow to take on a tough opponent in UConn. What did you guys learn as a group? That we can win any game here. I mean, there were so many chances there for us to lose it. And, you know, it's playoff baseball. And, I mean, you can win any game if you put yourself in the right, right spot. And we're going to enjoy this game and then come back tomorrow with a lot of energy. All right. Congratulations, guys.